After being caught red-handed with her stepson in bed, Gloria Graham was immediately divorced by her husband. But that wouldn't stop her from dating and eventually marrying her stepson, and eventually having two children. However, once this was found out by the press, everything she had built was shattered into pieces. Gloria Graham was the goat actress when directors needed a good time gal, gangster's mole, or femme fatale. But her scandalous personal life led to a massive fall from grace. She'd had a really rough life, a scandalous, tempestuous life. She had four children, four marriages. She married her stepson and had children with him. Born in California in 1923, Gloria was the youngest daughter of British stage actress Jean Hallward, who groomed her for greater success. By the time she had turned 20, MGM had signed Gloria on a seven-year contract and told her to use her mother's maiden name. She made her film debut in 1944's Blonde Fever, but her career skyrocketed with 1946, It's a Wonderful Life. In 1952, Graham took home the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in The Bad and the Beautiful. She went from starring in big productions like Oklahoma and living in a lavish mansion next to Humphrey Bogart to sleeping in cheap hotels while waiting for callbacks for stage roles in London. It was her messy and tumultuous love life that triggered her downfall. While her acting career was a big success, Gloria's love life was a series of disasters. In 1946, she filed for divorce from her first husband, actor Stanley Clements, after less than a year of marriage. Then he beat her up when they got back together. In 1948, on the same day her annulment finally came through, she married rebel without a cause director Nicholas Ray in Las Vegas. Gloria was four months pregnant with their son Timothy, but the relationship was doomed from the start. Nicholas gambled away 30,000 pounds in Sin City on their wedding night so she wouldn't get her hands on it and later admitted. I was infatuated by her, but I didn't like her very much. Three years in, that dislike turned to loathing when Nicholas walked in on Gloria in bed with his 13-year-old son Tony at their Malibu home. The marriage imploded, although the reason why was kept secret for almost a decade. The union made Tony the stepfather to his half-brother Timothy, the child Ray had fathered with Graham. Her next trip up the aisle was with TV producer Cy Howard. It lasted three years and produced daughter Mariana, but was almost as stormy as her last marriage. Gloria pulled a gun on Howard during one explosive row and cut up his clothes in another. Hollywood turned a blind eye to all the scandals until 1962, when it was revealed that Gloria had married stepson Tony two years earlier in a secret ceremony in Mexico. Her union with Tony lasted longer than any other. They had two sons, Anthony Jenner and James, and stayed together for 14 years. But Nicholas never forgave either of them and remained estranged from his son until the end. Publicly, she was defiant, saying, I married Nicholas Frey, the director, people yawned. Later on, I married his son, and from the press's reaction, you'd have thought I was committing incest or robbing the cradle. Privately, she was having a breakdown and endured electric shock therapy treatment to cure her depression. At the same time, she was locked in a custody battle with Howard, who claimed she was an unfit mum. The faded screen siren spent her final days battling cancer in a council house in Liverpool, being cared for by the parents of her ex-toy boy lover, Peter Turner. 